Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking Slaughtered Lamb English Bitter. <laughs> awesome. And damn, it is bitter. <laughs> it used to mellow out a little bit. You drink too many of these, you all turn into a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> You're all crunching up and everything. Today we're going to do something a little different and talk about something that is current. Yeah, like brand new. And that is our thoughts on all these horror movies and horror shorts and trailers jumping on the whole Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie bandwagon. <laughs> yeah, the copyright for the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse came up. So now anybody can do anything with that character and the first thing that happened was like right away a trailer dropped for mickey's mouse trap a slasher styled horror movie and what's funny is it appears that they kind of knew that this copyright was going to come up yeah and they already started making it with the trailer ready right in time for when copyright expired on it mm -hmm. so it's kind of smart planning it is but i'm kind of curious like I'm surprised that you could do that, because, like, that means that they actually infringed. And, like, maybe you know, not. I, nothing was officially released. Yeah, like, yeah. I guess not. I see it as kind of a gray area almost. Yeah. It's like, I could see, like, the execs at Disney. You fucking bastards, you knew it! Yeah. You, you knew it! You already had the movie done! <laughs> <laughs> and there was also another trailer that popped up for Steamboat Willie, the return of Steamboat <laughs> Willie, uh, which is, looks to be a completely computer animated type thing. It's very vague. Mm -hmm. It just kind of is like this camera going through these cows and then it kind of goes underwater and there's like a boat mm -hmm. and there's like the boat's abandoned. It looks like people have been maybe murdered on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the camera turns around and it's a, this mouse kind of runs towards the camera and that's it. Don't you hear the whistling too? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what do we think about, well first of all, Mickey's Mouse Trap. We watched the trailer. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this whole thing, jumping on this bandwagon and the movie in general? I think the jumping on the bandwagon thing is fine. Like there's that Winnie the Pooh movie, Blood and Honey. Yeah, yeah. So stuff like that, right? So these characters, as they're coming up, people are taking advantage of it. I think that's perfectly fine. It's how it's done, right? Right, yeah. Mickey Mouse has been around, like, obviously for, like, a hundred years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But um, he's always been stuck in the children animation genre. Mm -hmm. Now we can expand him wherever we want. But, yeah, again, like you said, it's how you go about it. In the case of Mickey's Mousetrap, it's just the mask. It's not Mickey Mouse. It's yeah. not Steamboat Willie. It's just someone wearing that mask. So it's kind of like the lamest way yeah. to, to, to <laughs> use that character. It's a, and like when you watch the trailer, man, does it look fucking paint by mm. numbers? It just looks It looks bad. Yeah. Like it looks kind of shitty. It, it reminds me a lot of that Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, the same setting. Sort of, yeah, sort right. of deal, right? Generic. Pretty. And the slasher, like, come on, talking about like being just lazy about it yeah. like it's some guy wearing like a fucking sports jersey <laughs> yeah. and a mickey mouse mask like that's fucking lame if you're gonna turn mickey mouse into like a slasher like a real slasher like a guy in a mask it would be i think you look a lot cooler if like yeah he had the mask on but he like also was wearing the Mickey Mouse type costume, like yeah. with the shorts and the suspenders. Yeah, yeah, and, and those gloves, yeah. those white gloves. And he was like, if he could be like a kind of muscular or something with those like no shirt on with the suspenders and the shorts <laughs> right. and like, yeah. like sweating and like, it, like <laughs> a bit more, you know, menacing looking than just some fat bum in a jersey. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, he went for a jog and then decided to put the mask on or whatever. It's like, fuck, that's lame. It'd be cool if, like, right in the opening scene of, of the movie, not this one, but a movie that would be made, if you see the guy, like, you don't see what he looks like or anything, but you see this guy putting... Suiting up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the stuff on, right? And he's maybe whistling that yeah. steamboat... Willie. It could be anybody, right? The way they make it. More of a murder mystery. Yeah. Kind of hark yeah. back to the 80s, sort of. Yeah. That'd be kind of neat. 
Yeah, because like the, the slasher genre isn't dead. Uh, you know, that Thanksgiving movie just came out. Even though it's full of like the nostalgia type 90s slasher cliches, it was a good slasher. Right. And it, you know, so you can still make a good slasher by kind of falling back on those cliches, but it's again, it's how you go about it. Yeah. In this case, like, again, it's hard to judge a, judge a movie just by the trailer, but like the characters look lame. Like, there's fucking, like, the lines, there's one line just out of Scream. Yeah. Like, oh, you never say, yeah. I'll be right back, and it's like in a horror movie, like, yeah. What the fuck are you guys you stole doing? that line right out of another movie? Like, it's like just so unoriginal. So that's kind of my thoughts on this. It just looks so fucking unoriginal mm -hmm. and boring and lazy. Yeah, and a lazy way to use the Mickey Mouse or Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse character. Yeah. But that's not going to be the last one, right? So right. Let, let's see what else uh, these other people come up with, yeah. right? Whoever uh, else. For the return of Steamboat Willie, like, again, it, it, this appears to be like a complete. CGI computer animated movie mm. you know we're not big CGI people but I think that's more when it comes to like in a m movie where there could be practical effects and they use CG instead yeah in this case you know a whole movie which is computer animated could be interesting yeah because you can do whatever the fuck you want you're not being limited by anything mm hmm and it's it's neat because usually like you were saying like in a normal movie, a real movie with real people, and then you see CGI, it looks fake and yeah. it takes you out of the movie. Yeah. This whole thing is CGI, and it's already based on a cartoon, which yeah. is fake, yeah. which, you know, so it sort of follows that same line. Yeah. It doesn't, there's nothing to take you out of that movie, right? Yeah, it, it looks kind of like stuck in that. Yeah, it looks like it takes place in its own world, mm -hmm. you know, like it's not like a slasher and a guy in a mask. It's a legit mouse, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's a killer mouse in this world of weird creatures, you know, which right. could be super interesting, you yeah. know. It also could be the first full length animated horror movie. I can't mm -hmm. think of another one. Yeah. Yeah, besides, like, if you want to get into, like, the Japanese animation and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. But, I mean, so, that's a little different, though. Yeah. So, uh, I am kind of more excited to see what the uh, the CG version, this uh, Return of Steamboat Willie might be. It could, it could be interesting, you know? Yeah, I'd like to see maybe that Steamboat Willie being all rabid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, rather than a slasher yeah. with a knife or whatever, have him just fucking eat people's faces yeah. off and shit. Yeah. And it was funny too, because uh, when we ended our uh, 2023 season with our <laughs> Q and A, someone asked us, "So, what Disney movie would you like to be turned into a horror movie?" And we're like, mm, kind of scratching our heads, and here it just fucking happened. Yeah, like a month later, <laughs> which is crazy. Yeah, and like all these, there's tons of like uh, fan shorts, and like it's just like the uh, YouTube is being bombarded with all these Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie things. It's it's crazy how quickly people jump on that. Right? Eh? Yeah. Well, it's uh, um it's kind of interesting too to see how people can switch the narrative too, right? Yeah. Because like Steamboat Willie or Mickey Mouse is so wholesome. He's such yeah. a wholesome nice yeah. family yeah. character. <laughs> Just to flip that and to make them evil. Yeah. It's funny, that's the first thing people did. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the first thing people did was take this beloved nice character and turn him into a murderer. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Let's not make a comedy out of this. Yeah. Let's just fucking go balls to the wall. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of our thoughts on the whole Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse dilemma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Mm-hmm. And until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>